What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this coaching Rylu team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys for all the support that has been going out on the channel. We're closing in on 5,000 subs. That is just insane. But yeah, coaching Rylu has been uh been being used more and more on the ranked ladder as of recently. So I figured I'd show him off and he's a pretty cool little Pokemon. But rocking out on this team, we got ourselves Dragapult over here. This team is very, very offensive, like very offensive, and I feel like I'm gonna have a good time and get some wins with it. But we got Dragapult right here, clear body with that life orb, Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, Steel Wing, and Protect, Snorlax with that thick bat, a soul fest, kick an impact for stab, high horsepower, heavy slam, and thunder punch all for coverage. We got the Rylu over here, he's just support mom with coaching, protect, copycat, and faint with that focus sash as well, and prankster so we can actually get coaching off in turn one. We got Cinderace over here, the best Pokemon in the game. I wouldn't say best Pokemon, but it is definitely up there. It is such a strong Pokemon. It has Iron Head, High Jump Kick, Sucker Punch, and Bounce with that Libero ability and that White Herb. So no stat changes are allowed for us. And we got Rillaboom, Choice Boom, Ch Choice Boom, Choice Band, Rillaboom right here with a uh, Grassy Glide, Superpower, U-Turn, and Woodhammer. So we're probably just gonna uh, Choice Band into a Grass move while the Grassy Terrain is there and get that big old boost of damage. Then in the final spot we have Incineroar right here with Fake Out Flutter with Starkest Area and U-Turn. Also has that weakness policy, so we can proc that. We can roll out from there, but if you guys want to try out this team for yourself, front the code is at the bottom of the screens. And if you haven't checked out my Paper Mario playthrough yet, definitely go check that out. We have parts 1, 2, and 3 up as this video goes live. It has been tons of fun. It has been a blast. I promise you, you guys are going to enjoy those videos. But without further ado, let's hop onto that rank ladder and get back into some Pokemon. First battle coming at you guys. This guy has a Trick Room team also with Dragapult and Liberio Cinderace. We gotta watch out for that. Who am I going to lead in this first battle? He has Porygon. I think he actually might lead Porygon. I kind of want to lead Incineroar to get that fake out, but at the same time, I don't want to. I kind of just want to show off coaching Rylu, so I actually might go into Rylu with uh, Cinderace or with uh, Snorlax. Hmm. Who should I do? Who should I do? We do have Giga Impact, which is good with Max Strikes, but... Eh, I'd say we go with Incineroar. Incineroar is just way better. You guys already know the deal with that one. But we are going to be bringing in um, Incineroar and I think Rollboom in the final spot here. Where should I bring Strongs? I'm thinking of bringing Strongs because if he does roll Trick Room, uh, Strongs can actually uh, do some work in here. But let's get it, guys. If you want to catch more content from me, head in that link in the description below. Jeans25 on Twitch. We stream three to four days every single week. Come hit, hit that follow button, turn on those notifications so you know when I go live. But Porygon 2 here. It feels weird hopping back into Pokemon. I love it. I love it so much. But just been having a blast with Origami King. It's just been so much fun. Like I said, parts 1, 2, and 3 are up. We just recorded them straight. Uploaded them three days in a row. And now we're going to get back into Pokemon and do an Origami King at the same time. But who is he going to lead? I think he's definitely going to try to go Trick Room here. Or he's just going to go Silvali. Maybe Silvali and Cinderace. That's, a, that's an option. That is an option. But I really want to show up coaching because I got dumped on it by... um. By a coaching Rylu team before, like they just coached up because I, I forgot it can learn prankster, so it got first turn priority and just marked on me. I was like, Bro, what do you mean? What do you mean? But we also have that focus dash on us as well, so we can actually eat up a shot and potentially get all two coachings, which would be awesome. But it goes still Valley and Dragapult, that's fine by me. That is totally fine by me. Bang in the Alright, we're gonna go, uh, we're gonna coach up here. We're definitely gonna coach up here. Go coaching here and go right into you and then go to, hmm. To take out the Dragapult. I think taking out the Dragapult is probably the best bet. He's an absolute monster, so we're going to focus on, on this Dragapult, get that Liberio change, get that attack boost and that defense boost from the coaching. He knows exactly what's going on. He might actually go for a self-destruct. He might actually go for a self-destruct here. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. And let's just see what happens. Let's just see what happens. We're going to get this all. Get rolling with it. Big old Cinderace. It's not G-Max, though, which is totally fine because we do not have a fire move, so it's not really worth it. It's not really worth it. Coach, 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 coach. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We go first. We get that coaching off. Yeet. Give me them stat boosts. Give them to me, baby. We get that attack boost and that defense boost as well. Plus one stage each time. And Breaking Swipe's going to come out here. And that is going to lower my uh, my attack. But since we have that, uh, what's it called? That white herb. I know the white herb doesn't even pop out because we're not lowered, but still. Now we're just even with Liberio. This probably should be able to take this thing out unless it's Sash. But we'll see. Please don't be Sash. Take it out. Oh my god, of course it's Sash. What you mean, dog? This thing's Sash. He's chilling out. And I think he actually might drop it to like a Phantom Force or something along those lines. To try to dodge an attack. I'm definitely going to uh, boost up again. Are we going to T wave me? What you mean? I'm definitely going to coach up again with this uh, Cinderace just to keep boosting his defense and all that good stuff. Let's go here. 
and then we'll just go into a uh, bump to a knuckle up. I'm thinking of just knuckling, getting that attack boost as well again. I'll take it, I'll take it, because he's probably gonna break either breaking swipe or phantom force drop. We'll see, we will see what happens here. I think he's going to probably break and swipe, knowing that uh, he's only on one HP. He'd rather just lower my attack set. But Riley's going to boost it, and then he's going to lower it, and then we're going to boost it again with a max knuckle. So we're going to kind of get the advantage. We're going to start taking advantage here. And I think that we take out Silvalli in one shot with this max knuckle, if we are plus one. Oh, no, we'll be plus nothing. We will be plus nothing. But we do get the defense boost, which I really like. Which I really like. So we're plus one, and these are both physical attackers. Plus two now. Plus two now. Plus two on defense. Plus one on attack. He's gonna break and swipe once again. Take out my Rylu. Get a uh, get that uh, attack buff back down to neutral. And we're gonna see if we can take out this uh, big old Silver Valley here. We're gonna see if we can do it. I'm thinking about pulling out what's called right now. Real boom. Did I did I bring real boom? Actually, I don't think I did. Now we brought Snorlax and uh, what should we call it? We brought Snorlax and Incineroar. Real boom would have been good here. Just a uh, Going through a grassy guide. Max Knuckle comes out. Yeah, we get rid of that thing. We say, yo, see you later. Get out my face. We'll dump on that. And then, I don't. I feel like I don't want to go into Incineroar just yet. I, th I think I should save Incineroar and go Snorlax. And take out the uh, Dragon Pult with the Snorlax. And then bring Incineroar in for later for when he potentially Dynamaxes. But we're not sitting bad. We're not sitting bad here. What you want, fool? What you want? He's going to pull out. I think it's going to be his Dynamax mod. It's going to be Volcarona. Okay. Do we think he's gonna Dynamax that? We got Snorlax in here with that big old thick bat. And I can just go into a nice little, uh. Hmm. Guess we'll just go into a heavy slam. Just take out you and then pop off into an airstream. Get that speed boost for our team. Where do I, uh. Yeah, we're gonna go with the airstream. I gotta make sure this thing goes out. Watch, we're gonna be paralyzed here. I just, I just have a feeling, people. I just have a weird feeling about this. We're gonna be paralyzed. I'm gonna make, what do you mean? Let's see what happens. You think he's, he might protect? He might protect something, but I don't think this uh, the Volcarona will have protect on it. I think he's gonna have like Quiver Dance, uh, Bug Buzz, Giga Drain, and Heat Wave. To be honest, that's usually a good Volcarona set. But the What's Called actually might drop down. I'm thinking, or he's gonna go for another Breaking Swipe. What you want, dude? Make a move! This dude's taking way too long. Make a move! Here he goes. He goes with the Surf. Okay, so triggering weakness policy. Is that what he's doing? Yeah, triggering weakness policy, but not Dynamaxing. But not Dynamaxing. That's a little weird. That's a little weird. He's not Dynamaxing. Oh my god, Incinerate survives on one. This dude is salty. This dude is so salty that his Volcarona goes out here. He is so salty. Incinerate's OP. Coming in clutch. Surviving on one. And potentially just winning us this match right here. This Dragon Bolt's going to go down. Incinerate gets another turn here. Are they going to keep him alive? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Stop it, man. Stop it. Get a heavy slam comes out. We say bye bye, Polsky. Cinderace really survives on one. This guy's like probably jaw dropping right now. He's like, What you mean? On one HP, but yeah, we take those. You know, we take those all day. All right, it comes down to a 3v1, basically a 2v1 because Cinderace is just poo poo right here. Well, he's on one. He's going to be sauce. And it's Porygon. It's Porygon. So is he going to Dynamax this thing? I'm pretty sure we, we're just chilling here. I'm pretty sure we are just chilling. I am going to go into a high jump kick. Hopefully that hits we can take out but i'm just gonna go into a giga impact does that waste a turn after that we cannot move after next turn so what i really want to go for the greater mm, we outweigh the target i'm just gonna go for that then and i'm just gonna go into a high jump kick we think he's gonna dynamax a porygon too he might just cancel battle just cancel battle dude you have porygon 2 in the back end why didn't you bring him out a lot sooner let's see what happens here we're just gonna go for that dynamax he's going for it man He's going for that Dynamax, going for that Porygon to clutch up. But if we land this high jump kick, this should be uh, nice damage over here. Should be decent damage. -na -na -na. Get it. Get it, Porygon 2. Little glass duck over here. <laughs> Alright, let's see who goes first. I'm Palace, dude. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming soon. Heavy Slam comes out. And we shook his head. Wait, what What does that mean? I am so confused. I, I just don't understand what that means. He shakes his head and he says no to that move. Why Why does he do that? Why does he shake his head and not do an attack? That makes no sense. I just, I don't know, man. Is it because he now outweighs me? Is that like a thing? I, I really have no idea. But now we're bringing out my boy right here, Incineroar. Incineroar, yeah. Don't intimidate. It does nothing because this thing is a special attacking. 
And I think I actually gotta play this one slow. I think we just go into uh, I guess we'll go into a thunder punch. Try to paralyze this. We're doing some stat moves. And we could what do I want to go for? I'd rather just go for some darkest area right here. Start throwing them at this thing. Just start throwing them. We get the darkest area. You do a little bit of damage. We know this thing is bulky as bones. I wish I had like knock off or something going on here. He goes for max strike on Incineroar. How much damage is he doing? Oh my lord. Oh my lord. I don't know. I don't know. This thing has recovered too. This thing has recovered too. We might. Oh. Oh no. Not looking good. Speed drops. Thunder Punch comes out. Give us, a, give us a paralyze. Give us a paralyze. Give it to me. Give it. No, we do not get a paralyze. Whack. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. We're going to go for the paralyze again. And then I guess I'll go into a flare but Maybe try to get a burn. Because you know Incineroar is going out here. You know Incineroar is definitely done here. See what happens here. Last max strike comes out here. This thing outspeeds me now because we are minus one. That's whack, bro. That is whack. And we're probably going to lose this first battle. We are probably going to lose this first battle after what we thought was going to be good. But I feel like I underestimate Porygon too much. I feel like I underestimate him so much. It is ridiculous. Because I just feel like, oh, he's a trick room user. He has the Evo light. Blah, 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 blah. But, dude, this thing hits pretty hard. It hits pretty hard. Of course, my Cinerace was paralyzed, but I saw that coming. Do I go into a Giga Impact? Then I drop a Thunder Punch here, and then maybe go into a Giga Impact next. Let's see what happens. Try Attack comes out here. Eat up, buddy! You're a tank! You are a tank! But this thing is special attacking, so. Let's see. Ah, uh, eat Thunder Punch. Let's do some more damage. How much do we think a Giga Impact's actually gonna do? I, mean, I gotta give it a I gotta give it a roll now. Gotta give it a roll now, because I feel like he might recover the next turn. Maybe we, can, maybe we can get a crit and do something. Now he recovers right here, right now. Bro, what you mean? What you mean? God dang it, Snorlax. It's all right. It happens. So, we got to show off our coaching Rylou, which is pretty cool. But we end up, we're going to end up losing here. I know we are. Giga Impact comes out. Yeah, not enough, man. And now we have to wait another turn. He can just recover simply and do everything perfectly. They might recover and then go for another thing. Like, it's just not. Like, we, we just are not at the advantage here. Unless we get, like, a crit. But I, even if we get a crit, I don't think we're gonna take him out. He's, most of the time he's gonna be full health from the co recovers, and he's just gonna chill. So he's gonna recover here, and then have that next turn just attack and slowly pester me out. God man, Porygon too! God dang it! Remember when he first came in here? Everyone's like, "Yo, this thing's gonna be annoying." I was like, "I don't know. Is it gonna be more annoying than Dust Cops? I think it is. This thing's an absolute beast. But yo, GG to this guy. We go 0 and 1 in battle number one. Time to happen to battle number two and try to get ourselves our first win. Second battle coming at you guys, and this guy has Butterfree. You guys already know the deal. We do not like Butterfree's. They're too good. They put everything to sleep and are just annoying. So I think uh, what's called could be a solid lead here. Actually, mm, he might lead in DD for that surge. So I don't know. Will Incineroar be a good lead? I said we lead him. I said we lead him. Because he might go Tailwind and try to just like do all that. Actually, I want to coach up. I want to coach up. Let's go. Coaching here. And I kind of want to go Cinderace. I don't want to coach up Cinderace. He's an absolute monster. Hmm. You know what? We are not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're going to go Incineroar. I think Incineroar is the better call. I'm going to go Cinderace here, and I'm going to bring Rillaboom and Dragapult. Rillaboom and Dragapult. For the final call, we're going to keep coaching out here. You guys already kind of got to see what the whole gist of coaching is. You just kind of just put it on the Pokemon, give them that attack boost and that defense boost, and then you roll from there. And then you roll from there. But, yo, look at this dude's trainer card. It's actually pretty funny. The Pokeball guy's just holding her up in the hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go starting off the battle who's he gonna lead who are you leading sir don't show me indeedy please do not be indeedy yes it is not indeedy just what we wanted just what we wanted so definitely double up into that uh into that what's it called that butterfree i'm not dealing with it. i'm not dealing with the butterfree get it out of here get it out of here i'm gonna fake it out give it that and then like, like we don't have pyro ball which sucks but I, I think I'm just going to Dynamax Cinderace. He's just a beast when you Dynamax. So I'm going to actually start boosting our speed. Because uh, he, he's probably going to Tailwind. So I'd rather just start boosting our speed. So we can fake out the Sputter Free and then maybe take it out. Unless it protects. Unless it protects. But do we really think it is going to protect? I have no idea. But get it, Cinderace. It's just too good not to Dynamax. I wasn't going to Dynamax, but I didn't want to like uh, go into a bounce or anything. Or have the chance of not killing this thing. And actually end up losing the match because of that. Let's see what happens here. Oh, he's going to Dynamax as well. He's Dynamaxing that Butterfree. That Butterfree's getting that D-Max. Yo, Butterfree, chill on me. Chill on me. And he's going to Tailwind as well. And then it might be a G-Max Butterfree. Let's see. It is. He's going to G-Max Befuddle me up. Leave me alone, please. 
Just leave me alone, Butterfree. I don't want no problems. I don't want no problems, Butterfree. I really do not. Is a fake ass gonna come out here? Dude, just a tad bit of damage. I think he actually might have set up a tailwind with the Gale Wings. Let's see what happens. Yep. Sets up the tailwind, and then the Befuddle's coming through probably over on my Cinderace. Probably over on my Cinder. Not my Cinder. Well, not my... Yeah, it's over on my Cinder. God dang, you hunk of junk. Watch, it's gonna paralyze us. We're gonna be in the dumpster. It's gonna put me to sleep, actually. I'll put you to sleep. Stay up, Cinderace. I need you up. This dude just got double sleep? What do you mean? What do you mean? This dude just gets double sleep like that? I thought Befuddle's like chance of paralyzed sleep and poison. And he double sleeps on me? This game trash. <laughs> Bro, what you mean? What do you mean? He's gonna witch all town flame now. Get that uh, attack boost back. Or his stats back to normal. Gonna bring out his Cinderace. Max Airstream comes through. That's whack, yo. That's whack. Now he's boosting speed and setting up. Now he's boosting speed and setting up. I think we're going to keep this video short and only do two battles. We are 0-1. We actually might go 0-2 because of this double sleep. But yeah, I'm going to be keeping this video short. Just letting you guys know now. Two battles for today's video. But don't don't expect two battles in the next one. We, we're going to stick to three. But we're going to try Flare Blitzing again. And we're going to try Air Streaming again. But, bro, this is done. This is pretty much done with. He's got full control. You got Talonflame coming back out with a Tailwind. Bruh. Bruh. He's too good. He's too good. Butterfree's too good. What's he going into? Oh, he just dumped on me. I don't even know what move he used, but he gets a crit too. Yo, what is this? Most unlucky match ever? Probably, dude. What do you mean? Yo, you know. You guys are knowing that Jeans is luck is bad right now. Crits, double sleeps. This dude's running things. He's out here running things. We haven't waking up yet. Oh my lord, oh my lord. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens from here. We're still asleep, bruh. Bruh, get out of here. So now we gotta bring Dragon Pulse. Dragon Pulse is our last option to do anything good here. He is our last option. Sad part is this team is actually very good. Like as you guys can tell in the first battle, we, we actually almost had that one. Maybe if we weren't paralyzed, we probably could have took out that Porygon. But this one was just totally unlucky, and you guys know that for a fact. I'll go into Flare Blitz, I should be able to take out. I think I'm going to double up on the Dragon Darts overall. Or not overall to you, but Iron Head comes out. I'm going to switch stances, and he's probably going to make my Pokemon flinch. I'm going to make my Pulp flinch. Ready? Sleep Powder comes through. Bro, oh my lord. Oh my lord, stop it. This is game, alright, Butterfree, get out of here. I'm sick of you. Wake up, Incineroar. Wake up, Incineroar. Thank you! Land of Flare Blitz! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you! Butterfree's out of here. Finally, we get rid of Butterfree. See, I said this one in the beginning. I was like, yo, we do not like Butterfree's, and this is why. This is why we don't like Butterfree's. Their Tailwind's gone. He's gonna bring back out Talonflame, set up another Tailwind. I don't, think, I don't even think he needs Tailwind now. Because he was boosting his speed with the uh, Airstreams. But he's definitely bringing out Talonflame again. Now he goes straight to the route. Line. Fine by me. Hmm. Or but it's gotta come through. We're coming after you now. Hopefully he stays with the iron heads. Hey, yo, we're dead here. I mean, I'm gonna try to protect you. I'm gonna definitely try to protect. He's definitely dropping a Draco meter. Probably not. We're, we're not that high of health. But oh my god, we're sleeping, man. A right, jump kick comes out here. He switches stances, and we can say bye bye to instant war. War is definitely going on. This one. Bruh. I don't even know what to say, man. I don't even know what to say. We're getting teed off on right here. Flash Cannon's gonna come out here. And take out Pulp. Now all we have is Rule Movement. That's game over. He's gonna outspeed me. He can hit me one shot with a Pyro Ball if he has it or like a bounce or something along those lines. And that's game over, man. We got 0-2 in today's video. That's whack. That is so whack. First battle was actually very close, so I'm glad I got to show that off. And you guys got to see some bad luck. I know some people actually like to watch me lose sometimes. But so here you guys go. This will be a, this will be a nice video for some of you guys. But Grace Surge comes out. I'm I'm leaving. I'm leaving this match. I'm not letting my gorilla die out. I'm not letting my gorilla die out. But 0-2 with the team. I'm glad we got to show off the general gist of the coaching style. One last look at this team. If you guys want to use it for yourself, front the code is at the bottom screen. And if you do use it, let me know how you did with it. Because this team is actually very, very strong. I just didn't get to show it off properly today. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.